Hi, this is Weekly Reflections, and I'm Nancy Joy. I'm calling today's Reflections Riding the Heart Through September 2015. You've all read about, heard about all these dates and things that are happening in September. <clears throat> so I, I want to share with you the beautiful way that um, I can help you. You can help yourself. We can all move through this time, no matter what it brings, because let's face it, nobody knows what it brings. It runs all the way from the gamut of this is the time of the rapture, the time of the ascension, uh, the true shift of the ages uh, to biblical prophecy, and then it runs into um, the blood moon stuff and uh, the collapse of the financial market and asteroid coming to the wor- uh hitting the earth, the day of atonement. September's got it all, something for everyone. And again, like I always say, both things are true. But let's just go over these dates real quickly. They're on the written uh, portion below and um, also, of course, on my um, sign up on Heartlights for the email. You can get all the information. So first we have September 11th. Well, of course, that's the 14th anniversary of 9-11. Call 911 emergency. That day has an energy of its own. It's not a coincidence that that World Trade Center uh, th- uh, event happened on that day. September 13th this year is the new moon in uh, Virgo, and it's a partial solar eclipse that will be complete at 6.41 a.m., uh, uh, in England, and yet uh, 1140 Eastern Standard in the USA. Uh, Jonathan Kahn has a very famous book called The Harbinger, which predicts that on September 13th, there will be a complete collapse of the financial markets. Then we move on to September 23rd, which equinox, depending where you are, is 22nd, 23rd. Uh, and our, for and here in the Midwest, in the United States, it will be on the 23rd. And it's the Northern Hemisphere autumnal equinox. Uh, and in this day, the biblical, biblically has been predicted the rapture and the start of the Jubilee from the book of Daniel 9.25. It's also Jewish Sean Kipper. Isaac Newton predicted way back when on 9.23 an asteroid would hit the earth. Also, the Disney movie Tomorrowland comes out with uh, all kinds of predictions about, maybe it's already out, about <clears throat> September 23rd as the Day of Atonement. It's also the equal time of day and night are equal, so darkness and light are equal. Then moving right along here, we have the big traumatic uh, September 27th, 28th, which is the full moon total eclipse, and it is the fourth and final blood moon in the uh Tetrad explained in the Bible in Joel 20, 30, and 31, where it says, And I will show you wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. So it's also predicted in Acts 22, 20 and Revelation 6, 12. It's also, again, the date of another Jewish date of the new year, Rosh Hashanah. Uh, also, 927 is the date predicted by my favorite guy these days, Matt Kahn, uh, as the day of ascension, where he explains no one's going anywhere. This is about our consciousness changing. So, you know, uh, you can, you can move into this and, oh my gosh, here comes the fear, or you can move into this, uh, this is gonna be incredibly amazing. But no matter how you're moving into it, uh, it does matter how you're moving into it, and I'm going to get to that. But it, it is going to um, be a series of events that um, define us, wake us up. I'm not expecting cataclysm or any asteroid or anything like that. Um, but I think we will see some huge shifts and chains going on on the outside that have been uh, covered up or not been very visible for a long time. Eclipses mean the right eye and left eye of Horus become one and all is revealed, the Egyptian prophecy. So here's where I'm going with this. There's a theory in physics called the string theory, which I'm not um, going to pretend to understand, but it's about how uh, strings of energy move out and create strings of consciousness. So we all know our thoughts and our feelings um, create our reality. So Here's what my my vision is. Each individual heart consciousness emanating from the heart come these beautiful strings of our consciousness. I see them spiraling out like DNA. 
And it's kind of a flower of life thing that consciousness goes as far out as it can be conscious of itself. And there it stops and it creates a point in time, a circle around that point in time in which a flower of life, a new reality is created. So I'm feeling we are riding through these September dates if we choose to consciously on our heart cords of grace, of consciousness, spiraling out as far as they go. And for each of us, this is going to be so very individual. Each person's beautiful heart string is going to go out and create their own reality because we are the center. We know we are the center of our own reality. And so nobody's, just like we talked about in Ascension on the 27th, nobody's going to experience the same, this the same way. It's going to be different for everybody depending on what they believe, what they feel, where their hearts are, what they're vibrating, and their, of course, that's all their, their uh, level of consciousness. And whatever anyone experiences through all this is perfect because it's, what, it's their experience they've created on their heart string of consciousness. Take, for example, something like, it's always fascinated me, and I read a lot about um, the Indonesian tsunami back in 0506. I think it was in 06. Anyway, um, I just found that fascinating. So just imagine all those people, thousands and thousands and thousands, affected by the sudden tsunami that came. It wasn't the same for any two people. What each person experienced was what placed them where it placed them, what they felt, how they responded, what they did, determined how they moved through that tsunami. So um, I'm not predicting anything dire here like a tsunami, but I think there may be some rattling, some rolling, some uh, power outages, some banking closures, some things like that, some things coming out uh, in the media that we have been around a long time but haven't been out in the media. All this kind of stuff is a potential. Think of it like a big potential. A hurricane building, let's say, and who knows what it will build into. Um, but one thing I know, having experienced two hurricanes myself, is they roll through and uh, everything seems to be destroyed, but it comes back better and more lush and more beautiful uh, than it was before. So um, we're going to be riding our heart cords through September, and I think, it's, I think it's really, really exciting. So my advice to everyone is to focus on this heart string. You know, uh, it's our old mind patterns that makes something solid out of something that's so beautiful and energetic and creative as a heart string. And we've made that mistake before. It's probably how we got stuck in 3D in the first place. So um, move into your cord of grace. It, it, it can create endless possibilities. Um, and see, you will see the manifestations <coughs> of your beliefs. So, I mean, you can choose to believe they're there may be a catastrophe or martial law or someone's going to, an asteroid's going to hit the earth. That's one way, and then you'll experience this cord and these events from a more fearful place. It's okay. It's a choice. You're moving through fear back to love. We are all moving back to love. So everything is love. Everything that happens this month is love. Everything uh, that you're creating from your being is your perfect pathway. So... Uh, you know, it might take several years to get really comfortable and understand all that happened this September and October, too, but we won't go there now. <laughs> so um, this is what we've been waiting to understand, been waiting to experience. It's been prophesied, is, uh, but biblically, historically, energetically, spiritually, should be a very interesting time. So uh, we'll follow this week by week as things unfold, and I invite you to pay attention, to breathe into your own heart cord of grace, your own string, and create with it and catch the magic. Have a great week. Enjoy the 13th uh, sol solar eclipse uh, that starts us on our way. And don't forget the free mini sessions. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.